it's Claudia and welcome back to my channel. It's Tuesday night and I finally got a couple of vegan snacks together that I've not tried yet and I am going to try them and let you know how they taste. Now, these came from a different, a variety of different places, from Walmart to Sam's Club. And I don't think, oh, and a Korean farmer's market. So I said, let me do a vegan snack testing video, just because I wanted to, because I'm a vegan, or at least, as I told a beloved friend tonight, at least I am, let's say, between 97 95 and 97% vegan and raw vegan I can't say I am anymore that was just too much for me it was taking me down to size and I was wondering if I was going to blow away or just plain vanish I, I just became so tiny so I start I had to start adding cooked foods to my regimen and therefore when I added cooked food to my regimen it opened up how much food and a variety of different foods for my vegan diet no I don't have any meats uh, sometimes egg has slipped into egg has slipped into my uh, fried rice but not often I think it's like twice and I realized when I was speaking with a girl at Asian Max that you can ask for fried rice without eggs. So now I do that. But I will say I love, 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 love good quality ice cream. And I also love cheese, feta cheese. And I know I don't buy cheese, but I will have a Greek salad if I'm out. And if it has feta cheese, I still go on and enjoy that. But no, I don't purchase um, cheese. Bueno, me encanta helado y también me encanta queso. Ay, me amo queso. Un momento. Let's get started. First off, I'm sampling these snacks with Great Values Lime and Garlic Salsa. Lime and Garlic Salsa from Aldi. So I am loving this with its tomatoes, uh, tomato concentrate, onions, jalapeno peppers, water, lime juice, roasted garlic, distilled vinegar, onions, and a little bit of natural flavors. So that's good. I have it in here. Nice and chunky salsa. Abe will probably join me in a few minutes when he comes back from the gym. But let's start with these. And you know what? I may just add a little bit more to my spread here tonight with the salad and call that dinner. So guys, this is A snack that I got out of Sam's Club today. It is Snacks for the Curious Off the Eaton Path. I like that. Chickpea veggie crisps. Peas and black beans made with real vegetables. What about that? Made with real vegetables. All right. The sodium is 180 mg of sodium, if that is an issue for you. Uh, it smells peculiar. Um, peculiar as in, I am very much used to eating a combination of raw and cooked foods, and I cook a lot of my food myself very sometimes I will go out and eat as you all know from my vlogs if you watch my vlogs but I have very much identifiable foods like salads and other things but 
this, I guess, this has its own little smell and it looks unique. There's a bit of green in it um, and a bit of something brown. I guess that's the chickpeas. It's chickpea colored more or less. And um, the black beans. Okay, so that's the black. Mm, all right. We'll see how that goes. It's fresh. Mmm. It has a cracker taste. It's like a cracker in a chip. I guess it it is. It's a crisp. So it will have it will have a crackery. Mmm. Interesting. Would I buy it again? Probably. Mmm. Oh, it's um, very flavorful. Not a not a salty taste to it. Not salty at all. But 180 mg's of salt is really not bad. I could see this with maybe rice and black beans or chickpeas. And you're using it as a, just like a scooper dipper eater. <laughs> like tortilla. Mmm. Very good. The babies should like this. My grandbabies. Mmm. Mmm. Very good. Okay. Mmm. Can I taste the black beans, the chickpeas? No. Not to say that there is a distinct one of those ingredients in it. No, it just tastes like a nice, fresh, crispy, crisp. This is Wild Roots, real food for real people. Wild Roots is crafted for your lifestyle, great tasting and satisfying with ingredients that are better for you. That's because we start with our roots, a simple quality ingredients like whole grains, seeds, and nuts. Organic red quinoa or quinoa in español, uh, tortilla chips start with a multi-grain base of the perfect combination of black seeds, red quinoa, and chia seeds. Then lightly seasoned with pink Himalayan sea salt. Ooh, that sounds good. And it says, feel free to snack. All right. And this one even identifies where the items are. For example, red quinoa, uh, chia, and flat seeds. So I could have made avocado dip instead of using this dip and had it with avocado. I might just do an avocado dip tonight when I finish with this video. Oh, the sodium on this one, 80 mg's only. Wow. So you know what? I think that's exactly, and this is organic. I think that's it. exactly what I'm going to do. Mmm, interesting, fresh, very much fresh smell. Pleasant, very pleasant smell. I am, and fresh, I am going to make that avocado, um, I'm going to make that avocado tonight. And I'm going back in hard <laughs> with these vegan snacks. Okay, now let me see. It does, it looks exactly like 
the packaging. And I like that about foods, foods that look like the outside. I can see the black chia seeds. I can see the uh, quinoa, at least blended in. Mmm. Mmm. Very good. Somebody was over there blowing my phone up. Mm. I'll bet. I love the, the taste of this. Even over the first one, I love the taste of this. This is going to be very good alone. Alone as well as mm. with a dip. But then again, this line salsa is the bomb. Mmm. Mm -hmm. See this look uh a great party food to put out and have people dipping different dips with this oh mm. you could almost hear the crunch Mmm. I could see myself as a food taster. Ah. Uh. Mmm, 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 mmm. My lip gloss pop in there. Um, thanks to BH Cosmetics. I love BH Cosmetics. This is their lip gloss. All right. This is Goya's Plantain Chips. And this is 50 mg's of sodium. They have this in sweet potato. And I don't eat sweet potato anymore. Following Dr. Sebi. But then Dr. Sebi probably. <laughs> wouldn't have these vegan snacks because he kept to a strict regimen so it's Claudia and Claudia's likes and preferences they have this in sweet plantain and they have this in yuca cassava cassava chips so these are plantain chips lightly salted low sodium gluten free and cooked to crispy perfection these are ordinary these aren't ordinary chips all right I've had these before I must admit I've had these before because I have a friend who loved these mmm really fresh tastes just like a plantain <laughs> and a crisp corn crispy corn mm-hmm these would fly well at a party light light eating mmm 
Definitely flavorful. Mm. I would probably try these in the sweet plantain version. Mm-hmm. Very good. Very good. Had to stop and get a napkin there. Mmm. 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 Yummy. That brand is Goya. Okay. Good job, boy. It's not here. Muy sabroso. Mmm. 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 I did get one of the other. You go. This is 80 MGs of sodium. Hi, Abe. Abe. Mmm. Mmm. I got you. Okay. That was a good night. So, yeah. So these are Goya yuca cassava chips and I'm having them with the salsa. And the plantains were good. I will admit that. Very fresh, low sodium. Able to bring the water up. All right, the yuca, very much wafer thin. Mmm. Mm. With more of a, a thickness to it, it fills your mouth with the hardest crunch of all the rest of these so far. Mm. But it's good. It's just that if you don't like hard, crunchy things, this would not do you. Mmm. But it's still, it's still quite good. Mmm. Would I get it again? Probably not. I don't like the seriously crunch, hard, crunchy chip. Mm. But I do like yuca root, but not chip. The last one is the roasted seaweed. The roasted seaweed is great for rolling up vegetables, sushi, and the like. So, let me let you guys see what this looks like. And anything you want to roll up. It has that sea. Excuse me, guys. It has that sea smell. Oh my gosh. It smells like you're standing on the beach with seaweed actually wrapped around your feet. Avery likes these. 
Look, this is how they look. That is so good. Like a, like, like a very thin green piece of paper. Okay, so let me see. Mm. That'll fall off. It's not anchored in. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. So this is the seaweed. We're going in again. No, I'm not going to put any salsa on this. It's so thin already. That's a quick little snack. You'd have to actually roll it up and make some sort of, well, it's not going to be rolled up too much. When you're putting vegetables in this, you've got to, excuse me, put wet um, paper towels on this so that the seaweed will soften and you could literally roll it up. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Messy. Mm. It's good though, eh? It's good, you all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You like it, cousin? Mm -hmm. Not like all that. You want to try it? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah, I gotta make sure I put this me up in the oven real quick. I can hardly go to sleep. Okay. Okay. You can't stay up all that. Mm. Very good. Okay. I I like that seaweed, guys, and I would definitely get that. I'll have that again. Um, yeah, I've had it before, and I will continue having it because it's just it's a great taste. And I also like the the seaweed when. You literally, literally have to wash the salt off the plant and boil it for a few minutes and then make a gel out of it by letting it sit up overnight and putting it in your smoothies so that it's a thickening agent that serves you well for smoothies and soups. In addition uh, to a thickening agent, it has 92 of the body's 102 minerals. I know you've heard me say that before, but seaweed is very good for you. Um, I think that probably the gel might be more potent than this, but I don't know. I'm not, that's my speculation. I'm not going to test on it. Okay, guys. Thanks for joining me. I enjoyed it. It was tasty. So if you decide to go out and get some of these snacks, let me know down below. Do your thing so that... We can find out if we both love something or can let it go. Bye! Mm, I'll eat some more. Mm -hmm. That's the seaweed casserole. Seaweed casserole? Mm, no, Abe. I don't think, I don't think that'll be good. Mmm. 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 Very, very good. Okay, guys. See you later in another video. Amor y luz y abrazos a todo el mundo siempre. Thanks for watching.